When I graduated from high school, I was one of the straightest, most normal persons in the school. By the time of our five-year reunion, I had become a weed-smoking hippie. I was not planning on going, but I met a former classmate about a month before and we decided to go, high on LSD. For anyone who has taken any type of psychedelic drugs, there are certain rules that you need to keep in mind in order to have a safe trip. Have a someone you trust to be with you make plans beforehand on what to do if things get strange I, like a fool, did not comply with the rules. I did not know my former classmate very well and did not discuss anything other than, let's do it. On the day of the reunion, we met at my house, took a half dose of LSD. We waited for several hours and were not feeling the effect of the drug, so we took another half. About a half an hour later, it hit us like a ton of bricks. We had a hard time doing anything other than to say, oh shit. We were able to calm down enough to go the reunion, which was at a first-class restaurant. I had on a t-shirt, cut off jeans and sandals. I had a full beard and my hair was below my shoulders. We walk in, grinning like a couple of fools. My buddy abandoned me, but I was doing all right. I was having a grand time blowing the minds of the class of 1965. No one could believe that I was the same person that they knew in high school. I had changed so radically that I was a different person. After a couple of hours, I was feeling a bit paranoid and needed some fresh air. I decided to call my girlfriend to come to get me. I needed to get away for a while. As I exited the restaurant, a limousine pulled up in front and the driver got out, opened the back door, and out stepped a woman in a long formal, lots of jewelry and made up in a Hollywood style. She turned to me and asked, is this the Van Nuys High Reunion? I said, yes, but thought that I was beginning to hallucinate, why would someone like that be at our reunion? More than ever, I needed my girlfriend. I found a payphone, kids, ask your parents what this was, but I did not have any change, only folded bills. I went into a store to get some change. The clerk handed me a dollar's worth of change, but I could not figure out what the trinkets were. I kept staring at the thing in my hand. The clerk asked if I was okay. I left the store but had to sit down to catch my breath. I finally calmed down and phoned my girlfriend and asked her to come to get me. She said yes, but it would take her about a half an hour to get there. After a while I began to wonder if I had really called her, so I called her again, but there was no answer. I started to panic. I then had a brilliant thought, I counted my money and there were only 90 cents in my hand, a phone call cost a dime at the time. She finally arrived, she brought me back to her place and we screwed for about an hour, which really calmed me down. She suggested that we go back to the reunion, which we did. The rest of the night was just fine. The woman in the long formal was still there. She came up to me and asked if I was John Roberts, to which I replied, yes. I did not recognize her, which she gathered from my confused expression. She said, I am Kim Darby. I sat next to you in science class. Now everything made sense, she was an actress of some fame. When in school, she was in several television shows, but now was a big-time actress. She had just starred in a movie called, True Grit, with John Wayne. Just before I left, a girl I knew from student council came up to me and inquired if I was stoned, and I told her yes. She said, be careful. You will not find the answer in drugs, but you will find the answers in the forest among the trees. I am not sure I knew what she meant, but I was touched that she cared. This was the worst experiences I ever had on drugs, but it did not stop me from indulging in the future.